Hey guys, it's Chuck from MotionApprentice.com again. Uh, long time no see. I've had a crazy couple of months. Uh, one with work. I've just been so busy with some uh, MoGraph projects. I haven't had a whole lot of time to uh, record new videos. And also I got married. So um, I've been pretty busy, but I'm uh, about ready to jump back into it. And uh, I have a couple of quick tip video tutorials already recorded, but today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, I recently just got this Huion GT220 V2 um, tablet, uh, drawing tablet monitor, uh, pen display for my computer. Um, and I wanted to do a quick review of my impressions of it. Uh, I used to have a... Um, Cintiq 24HD and I got rid of that a few years ago and wanted to jump back into the pen display game so I went with something a little cheaper this time and that is the Huion GT 220 V2 and uh, it's uh, a pretty cool little tablet so I just wanted to show you my impressions so uh, let me just get right in and show you how this thing works. All right, so first of all, I'm not going to get into all the nitty gritty of, of you know, how the stand works and, you know, um, all the details about the hardware itself because there's plenty of other places that you can find that stuff out. Uh, I can say that the stand does work well. Um, I actually prefer it to my old uh, Wacom Cintiq 24HD because it's a lot smaller and lighter and easier to adjust. Um, that old Cintiq, I actually had to buy a new desk at one point because it was so heavy, the desk uh, actually started to sag in the middle. Uh, this is a 21 and a half inch monitor and uh, it's a lot lighter. And um, you may remember if you've been following some of my older, uh, uh, if you followed my older channel, I did a quick review of a Huion um, 15 inch or so tablet. Uh, that I didn't really care for. It had some problems uh, in terms of accuracy. It wasn't that great, but I decided to give this one a shot and I actually really like it uh, compared to that old one. It reminds me a lot of my old Wacom Cintiq. Works a lot better. The pen is way more accurate uh, than on the 15 inch one. And that 15 inch one may be better now. It might have just been a driver issue. But let's get into it and I'm going to show you how this stuff works. So the drivers that it comes with are pretty simple. Not a whole lot you can do with them. Um, the, you can change the buttons on the pen. There's two buttons just like a Wacom. There is no eraser. Instead, there is actually a little charging port because this pen works on batteries. So you can adjust some stuff here. Um, everything seems to work without too much issue. I didn't have to really mess with stuff a lot. So I have my pen button set up here the way that I like and everything's working. So let's jump into 3D Coat and I'll show you a quick little um, test of, of how this uh, tablet works in 3D Coat with the pressure sensitivity and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to open up a project that I'm currently working on for a little side project. And you can just easily zoom in and pan around and rotate around and everything works exactly how you would expect it to. And all the pens, uh, the pressure sensitivity works, you know, perfectly. Um, absolutely zero issues getting this to uh, getting this tablet to work in 3d coat and in fact uh, it has worked uh, pretty much perfectly in all of the programs that I've tried now I'm a little bit different of a, a use case for um, for a tablet because I actually uh, don't draw a whole lot. Um, I use it as more of a general kind of pointing device, general workflow device. So that kind of is why I had some issues with um, with uh, the last uh, Huion tablet that I tried because the accuracy issues made it hard to use as a general pointing device, and um, it just didn't didn't uh, save me a whole lot of time. This one, the accuracy is great. Uh, I don't know if you can see that real well on the screen, but it's working uh, just fine. And they tell you in the, uh, in the documentation that this little button here, the support tablet PC button on the drivers, affects some programs how the pressure sensitivity works. So um, I wasn't getting pressure sensitivity in Sketchbook, so all I had to do was enable that support tablet PC. And I think um, 
I actually just reinstalled these drivers because I was messing around with some stuff and I think generally that's how I left it was the support tablet PC mode on. Um, so you know in terms of the display itself it's a full HD display um, color reproduction I think is actually pretty good I was I was a little worried about that now I do have a spider express um, you know color calibrator that I used on it and it seems to be working just fine uh, the inputs on the device are a um, standard oh yeah that pressure sensitivity is working with the tablet PC mode just fine so I think that's how I, I leave it um, in that driver. I leave it with support tablet PC mode. So um, anyway, the connections are uh, an HDMI and a standard USB and then a power cable as well. Um, like I said, the display is, is good. The color reproduction is good. There's a little bit of discoloration um, around the edges of the screen. If you have it just completely bright white, there's a little bit of a yellow discoloration. Um, but it's very minor and uh, you won't notice it unless you just have you know a, a bright white all over the screen um, so if if you can't tell I really like this tablet I think it cost me like 600 bucks and I think it's absolutely worth it um, a couple of the cons and I'm, I'm really kind of being nitpicky here because the most important thing to me is pen accuracy um, in terms of cons I would say I would prefer if it had some express keys on the monitor. Um, it doesn't have those, and Huion is actually working on a new pen tablet monitor that they're teasing right now called a Pro version that will have express keys. So I'm excited to check that out. Um, but the reason, really the only reason that that bothers me, because I have a keyboard here, just a little keyboard right in front, and I do all my hotkeys on that. The only reason that I would like uh, express keys on the monitor are one, it is nice for people when they're drawing to have an undo button right there just on the side that they can just press and redo a stroke and press and redo a stroke. That just really speeds up the process for a lot of people. And you can map that to one of the pen buttons if you want, but I like having those as a right button and middle button on the mouse. Um, so that's the way it works for me. I don't do a lot of drawing, so that doesn't, that doesn't affect me much. But what I would like an express key for is actually switching between monitors. So as you can see, I actually have two monitors here. I run everything off of a laptop. And I have my laptop screen right above the tablet PC or the tablet monitor. And um, if, if you switch one of these buttons, we'll, we'll switch my middle button to switch screen. It's really nice because I can just hit apply and I can hit that button and the cursor will move up to my second screen and I can move stuff on there while using this tablet and then I hit it again and my cursor's back down on the regular screen. That's really nice because I like to put a web browser or, or whatever, you know, uh, sometimes scripts if I'm working on a scripted animation up on the top screen so I can reference it while I'm animating. Um, so that's a really nice feature to be able to switch it on the fly like that. But since I like to have this set as my middle button, I can't switch that. Uh, so I actually have another mouse here because I kind of switch between using the pen and using a mouse anyway. So for me, it's not really a big deal, but it would be great to be able to switch uh, between the displays on the fly. And I think that's where an express button would really come in handy. Um, other than that, the only other con that I can really think of is that you can probably tell in the video that this screen is very glossy, very glossy. Uh, so it does pick up a lot of reflections. I have big windows off to the side here. Um, and, you know, it, it does pick up a lot of reflections. The, the Cintiqs tend to have like an etched glass display that really cuts down on reflections, which is really nice. Now, this monitor did come with a screen protector, but I didn't like the way it looked with the screen protector on. Everything just seemed a little bit too fuzzy. So, um, you know, if I'm kind of nitpicking, there's uh, the express keys and the glossiness of the display. Other than that, I absolutely love this thing. I, after my first experience with uh, Huion being, you know, it was a good tablet, but it didn't work for me. It wasn't great for me. Uh, after that experience, trying this one, I am very impressed. Uh, very happy with the accuracy and the performance and it, every program that I've tried it in, it has worked absolutely fine. I've animated in After Effects with it. 
Um, I've used 3D Coat, I've used Moto, I've used Photoshop, Sketchbook, I've animated scenes in Cinema 4D with it, and um, everything has been uh, just about perfect. I got nothing to complain about. So um, I think that's about, uh, about my take. Oh, by the way, it comes with this little uh, pen holder that you can just drop your pen in and it has a bunch of nibs in it, just like, um, just like Wacom does. Uh, it doesn't feel kind of as, as high, it, the pen holder doesn't feel like it's as high of a build quality as Wacom, but I mean, you know, who cares? It's a, it's a pen. And they also give you this glove that you can use for drawing. But um, other than that, man, I really, I do recommend this as a pen display tablet. I don't have very many big complaints. I'm really excited to see what their, um, what their newest version is going to uh, look like with the express keys I there's a good chance I'm going to um, try and get my hands on that and do a review on that as well but uh, if you need a tablet right now and you don't want to wait for that and you don't want to pay Wacom prices uh, definitely check this out especially if you're somebody that does a lot of drawing I, I don't think you can really beat something like this for um, you know using sketchbook and Photoshop but as you can see, even, even for animating, uh, for a general animator uh, or motion designer, it works great. Um, I did this scene in it yesterday and I had zero issues. Everything worked great. So uh, that's my little uh, you know, kind of impressions on this tablet. Again, it's the Huion GT220 V2. Uh, man, you know, I don't know, eight or nine out of 10, in my opinion. I really, really like this thing. So. Uh, that's that. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on it. Um, and, uh, you know, like and subscribe if you uh, want to see more content from me. Like I said, I have a couple more tutorials coming up soon. This was just a quick video review of this thing because I was so excited about it. I wanted to share it with you. So um, that's that. All right. Thanks, guys.